Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'll talk about a uh, book which is called AI and Machine Learning for Coders and is written by Lawrence Moroni. And why I decided to talk about this book is because uh, it was, re was released recently, this summer, and I believe this is a great resource for software developers who don't have background in machine learning but they would like to transition and jump into machine learning field. This book is, is great because it uh, delivers uh, very good quality from the first to the last chapters. Often what happens with machine learning books is that you get good quality on the first introduction chapters, but then as you uh, uh, offer starts to, to touch complex topics, then quality is going down and it's hard to follow. This is not the case with this book. It actually uh, offers uh, great content and very good examples. Let me switch to uh, my desktop. And a few words about Lawrence Moroni, he is um, uh, AI uh, advocacy uh, lead at Google and he delivers uh, machine learning related training through Coursera. And I would like personally say thanks to, for, to Lawrence for his efforts and uh, for what he does, for his teaching, because uh, he helped me to move to machine learning field from software development and I'm grateful for that. So uh, actually, uh, if you want, you can buy the book from Amazon. Uh, I have subscription to O'Reilly Library, so there I just can pick the book um, without buying it because I have subscription to a library. And it's important to mention that uh, this book, AI uh, and Machine Learning for Coders, uh, is based on, uh, on uh, lectures that Lawrence is teaching through Coursera. And this is great, I think, because uh, if you re read the book and some topics are unclear, you can always go to Coursera, watch uh, Lawrence's video, follow his explanation there, and, and, and then uh, you would be able to understand better the topic if, if, it's, you're unable, if it's hard to understand it by reading the book. And otherwise around, if you uh, watch um, uh, the lecture on Coursera from, from Lawrence and you think some information is missing, you want to get more inside, then you might go to the book and uh, find extra information there. The book is structured in, uh, into two topics mainly. So the first one is uh, building models. And this is everything about building machine learning models, like building models for image processing, for text processing, for sequence processing, and, and so on, using different types of machine learning uh, networks. Uh, like uh, convolutional networks, LSTM, RNN, and so on and so on. And all the examples are based on TensorFlow and Keras. So while the first part is focusing on uh, models, so the second part is focusing on how to use those models in production. So how you would deploy a model to a mobile device uh, through TensorFlow and JS JavaScript, how you could deploy it on uh, another light device through TensorFlow Lite, how you could build uh, data pipelines, uh, how uh, you uh, would be able to manage life cycle of the model in production and so on. So all these topics are covered in the second part, while the first part goes through uh, how to build the models. Okay, and uh, why I think this book is special, because I, myself I went through many uh, books uh, related to machine learning, and I think the clarity and the level of explanation in this book is uh, very good and is understandable uh, for someone who don't have uh, experience in machine learning. But at the same time, the book is not basic and it uh, provides practical examples that you could apply uh, to by when you will be implementing your own use cases. So I think the book is, uh, offers great balance between complexity and simplicity. So it offers um, um, very good material for someone who don't have maybe uh, experience with machine learning, but at the same time, uh, wh wh when you read the book, you get uh, a lot of practical experience and you can apply it in, in your job. Right, and uh, I like very much uh, how the st uh, source code is structured. Uh, you can get uh, access to the source code um, on GitHub and you don't need to purchase a book. If you want just to go through the source, book, uh, source code, you could go to Lawrence uh, GitHub uh, repo and browse through the, uh, through the source code uh, for all the chapters there. 
And if I go, let's say, to the first chapter, the basic one, uh, there is one Python script uh, which explains um, how you could, in a more simple way, uh, do so sort of hello world with, with Keras and TensorFlow. And uh, I think um, the great uh, um, the great point of the book, uh, which is uh, this book de uh, delivers, it actually explains the difference between uh, classical uh, software development and machine learning software development. It shows that uh, there is no much uh, difference between uh, classical and machine learning uh, software development development in terms of use case implementation. So when you build something. Um, uh, typically, with regular software development, you're implementing some sort of use case. When you want to build something with machine learning, you would also implement some sort of use case. And the main difference is uh, in the use case complexity. So in typical software development, you would have predefined clear rules, and uh, you would implement those rules with if-else statements, and you would write the algorithm. While in machine learning, you would have rules, but those rules uh, would not be as uh, understandable and as structured as uh, in the first example. And this is where the strength of machine learning comes, because with machine learning, you can capture rules which are not obvious, and you could write the model which could would, uh, uh, approximate and uh, which would uh, help to implement certain use cases. And uh, this is very well described in this first example that you see in the screen. So the idea here is basic. Let's say you have um, two arrays of numbers, and then the task for machine learning uh, during training when model is being built to find the formula uh, which could um, help to calculate uh, numbers in the second array from the first. So you see like this uh, 2 and 3, 3 and 5, 4 and 7. So this means 2, uh, two multiplied by 2, you get 4, minus 1, you get 3. Uh, 3 multiplied by 2, you get 6, minus 1, you get 5. So this is the formula uh, of multiplication by 2 and minus 1. So you get uh, to the model, you get an example of input data and output data. And the task for machine learning model training is to find the formula, to find this relationship between inputs and outputs. So basically, uh, in other words, the task for machine learning is to find the rule. While in uh, typical software development, you'll be given uh, exactly description of the formula and your task would be to implement the formula and produce the output. So while in machine learning, it's uh, other way around. You have input output and machine learning finds the rule. And this example is basic, but uh, I believe it's essential because uh, it shows uh, the, the whole uh, idea of machine learning. Because to people who are new to machine learning and don't have machine learning experience, uh, for them it could be confusing why we may need machine learning to uh, to use, because we could uh, build everything uh, using typical software development. And uh, to answer that question, the uh, main strength of machine learning is that you may provide input, output, and uh, the model would construct uh, the rule. Right, so this is a quick overview, and um, hopefully it was useful. And as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, I would recommend it to uh, any software developer who is looking to jump into the machine learning field, so I would recommend to go through the book and also watch um, Lauren's um, lectures on Coursera uh, that are related to this book content and then you'll be able to match uh, both um, materials and if you would have uh, questions while watching um, Coursera, you could go to the book and, and get more insights. So hopefully um, this is useful and you would get um, uh, more insight about the book and uh, enjoy reading and see you next time. Bye.